Now, as the left continues their effort to create an anything goes culture, many are busy trying to protect children from the consequences. And that includes lawmakers in Tennessee, who last week passed out of the Tennessee House a bill that prohibits sexualized performances from taking place on public property or in a place where it could be seen by a child. This legislation has been depicted as banning drag queen shows, but a careful reading of the bill shows that reducing it to those talking points, well, kind of misses the point. Joining me now to discuss this is the author of the bill, State Representative Chris Todd. Representative Todd, welcome to Washington Watch. Thank you. Good to be with you today. It's great to have you. Uh, tell us, what are you hoping to accomplish with this bill? Mainly protecting children. Uh, it's been surprising to me that uh, my community found out the hard way last year that uh, a local group wanted to have some adult-oriented type entertainment in front of children, they called it family-friendly, and my community stood up and said, we absolutely will not have that here, and we found that the state law that's been in place for a long time uh, technically covered it, but getting a DA to do anything about it uh, was kind of risky, and uh, we decided that we needed to strengthen that law so that the DAs felt more empowered to uh, pursue these cases. Now, on February 12th, or 24th, rather, a drag queen named Bella Dubell was discussing your legislation at a drag show. And here's what he had to say. Let's play clip six. If this law passes on April 1st, public drag will now be criminalized. I could go to jail for 15 years for appearing outside in drag. Now, the audio quality is not great there, but to uh, reinforce the point, uh, said that this drag queen uh, said that he could be put in jail for 15 years for going outside in drag as a result of your legislation. What's your response to that? Uh, that's totally inaccurate. Uh, that is not what the bill is about. It is about uh, or adult oriented type entertainment that is harmful to minors. And in our uh, Tennessee laws, we already have harmful to minors described and uh, detailed. And so this ties that to the, what would be harmful to minors. Uh, they would have to be performances that are sexualized in nature or showing some nudity or appearing unclothed before it would violate the law. And it would have to be in a public place uh, if you're doing those things or in a place where children could see it. For example, a restaurant that was having some kind of a show that involved the sexualized type uh, uh, material that we're talking about, then that would also be included in this where it could not take place with children present. Now, a lot of parents will hear your description and say, that seems quite reasonable. What kind of reaction are you getting from your constituents, from legislators, from the people in Tennessee? Well, certainly the 99.9% .9 of our constituents and, and the folks in Tennessee are law-abiding citizens anyway, and they have been appalled that the children could be exposed to this anyway. So uh, they're very pleased uh, right now that we're, we finally got something in place that will close up a loophole and make sure that we don't have children uh, that are uh, affected by this net very negatively. And uh, very proud to, to have carried this with Leader Johnson in the Senate. Uh, it was a team effort to make sure that we can protect our children. And so what is the status of your legislation right now in the Tennessee legislature? Uh, there's a technical approval that will need to be uh, done in the Senate, and that may be done this evening. And then what, it will go then to the governor's office. Once both speakers sign it, then the governor will be signing it. So you do expect the governor to sign it there? I certainly do. And we certainly hope he will. Now, on a related issue, I want to bring this up with you. Virginia, West Virginia, uh, Mississippi, Arkansas, Florida, several other states are debating or have passed legislation that would require age verification to access pornography online. Do you think that's um, another way? Do you think there's just this growing awareness of all of the, the threats to the innocence of children and, and that we can work together in a lot of ways to uh, protect that? I'm sure. Absolutely. I think there are a number of ways to do that. We have age verification for a lot of things, and I think it's certainly appropriate to do it for any kind of materials like that that would be harmful to minors. But of course, on all contentious issues, and there is that's what this is, there is always opposition. How would you describe the nature of the opposition that you've gotten either from the public or in the legislature? Are they, are they thinking that this is not a reasonable uh, step to take? 
Well, I think those in the public have uh, primarily we, we've heard from uh, that that have been opposed to this are misconstruing it as the clip you just showed. They're they're creating something that doesn't exist. Uh, the others, though, that actually want children exposed to these bad things, I believe, are supporting pedophiles because uh, we've had testimony in committee that that's exactly what these kind of uh, uh, entertainment shows are directed toward and that is to groom and recruit children to a lifestyle that uh, that they're not old enough to even understand and so um, very 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 proud to uh, have carried this and really proud of my state because uh, so many of our constituents have stepped up to the plate in numerous communities around the state for these fr family friendly shows and it said absolutely not we're not going to yep. have that here representative chris todd from the great state of tennessee thank you for your time and thank you for le your leadership as well Good to be here with you. Thank you.